What's up everyone? How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are having a warm day. I know here in Ohio where I'm at in my hometown it's like 41 degrees I think. And uh, so it's not, it's not too bad where I'm at. Um, I just wanted to get on here and make a quick video. I gotta work work on the trailblazer today since it's fairly warm out today work on the trailblazer and then we're going to uh, go to the store and finish up our grocery shopping and uh, but I kind of want to make this video on on something uh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now with the YouTube community and what's going on there, there's a lot of ruckus going on um, so I kind of I kind of want to touch base on something here in a second and what I want to touch on is Creek Squad you know I think I think I'm going to stop. I don't, I'm not going to say I'm not Creek Squad, but I feel I feel like um, what's the word I'm looking for? What Creek Squad means to me? What Creek Squad means to me, okay? What's it mean to me, Creek Squad? I came across Ryan up church in 2015. <clears throat> Many years ago. I came across uh, it came across Facebook, Instagram back in 2015 where they was posting him singing and stuff like that and uh he was he was pretty much singing like the older country songs and uh i remember looking at that those videos that he would post and it's like man he's gonna be he's gonna be something someday and he did he became very very big in the independent artist and honestly I don't really listen to much music anymore. When I'm at work, I listen to like Ryan Upchurch, Yellow Wolf, and all the other independent artists. Um, Jelly Roll, and I know Jelly Roll's not an independent artist anymore. He actually signed a deal, I think, if I remember right. Um, don't hold me to it, but I'm pretty sure he signed a deal. But anyways, I listen to him. I listen to... Um, a couple other, I can't, I, I just woke up, so I can't remember all the artists, but, but, uh, the only reason why I can remember Ryan Upchurch is because I listen to his music every single day while I'm at work, and his music helped me through a lot of shit, it helped me through my addiction, uh, it's helping me through my recovery, it's helping helped me through a loss of my uncle uh, when I'm feeling down it brings me back um, his music um, and him person him him doing reactions and and videos and stuff just watching his his daily life on YouTube and uh, he inspired me and his music inspired me. He inspired me to do what I'm doing today. And who I became today. And, uh, but when, when I, when I say Creek Squad, I mean it from the heart. I really, truly mean it from the heart when I, when I say Creek Squad. I always been afraid to make videos of, doing reaction videos to Ryan's music because I was I, I ended up getting a uh, a copyright 
a while back, but I didn't get a strike or anything. Just YouTube sent me an email saying, hey, you know, you can't do that. Um, these are the these are the rules that you have to follow when you make videos. I was like, okay. So I stopped doing it and I just kind of did my own thing. And, uh, but now what I have heard and have sent another email to, um, to YouTube, they sent me another one back saying that I can make reaction videos as long that I pause the video. As long as it don't play completely through and I pause it, talk about it, I can do that. I won't get a copyright. I won't get a strike against me. So, I was always afraid to do that. That's why I never made too many videos about Ryan Upchurch <clears throat> and his music. So, I think I'm going to start doing that. Because if you ever listen to any of my videos, any of my videos, I got the biggest heart of Creek Squad. And Creek Squad is a community. They are a family. It's a family that came together because of the music. Because each and every one of us, we never met each other. I never met father and son. Never met Captain Kurt. I never met Ryan Upchurch. <coughs> I never met Bare Bones. I never met any of them. I've talked to them when they go live. I will get in their chat and talk to them. But I never met them. But when when you don't meet someone, sometimes people have a hard time, you know, wondering is those good people or not. But with father and son, Captain Kurt and all of them, <clears throat> you can tell that you don't have to meet them in person. You can tell they can just open arms, welcome you in, because you guys can relate to each other. You can relate to their backgrounds, what they went through as a child or as an adult, because Ryan Upchurch's music brought us together. It brought us as a big community of a family. And, uh, you know, every time I, I do do a video and I tag uh, Creek Squad in it or something, I always get people, oh, why, why are you tagging Creek Squad? Why are you tagging Ryan Upchurch in this? Ha you, you only said 15 minutes of the video about Ryan. Okay, but I was just wanting people to know that I have a heart. I have, I follow Creek Squad. I follow Ryan Upchurch and listen to his music and follow him on Instagram and follow him on Facebook and follow him on YouTube. And, <clears throat> and I listen to his music all the time. So, this video here, what I'm doing right now, I want to say thank you to Captain Kurt and Father and Son's reaction and uh, Bare Bones and uh, 12 Point, Mike 12 Point, <clears throat> and uh, Payday, he's a new one. I want to say thank you to each and every one of them <clears throat> for what they taught me. And uh, if you listen to my videos from the past, <clears throat> I <clears throat> I talked about Creek Squad all the time, how big of a family it is and how they open up their arms and did this and did that for the community and for people. And, and <clears throat> so... What I'm saying is Creek Squad means to me is uh, they are a family. And they take the family very serious. And when they take the family very serious, if someone's out of line, they will let you know. And that's what I like about them. 
they think outside of the box. They don't think inside of the box. There's some stuff I don't agree with them on, but that's my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. And, uh, but I think this is going to be a last video of mine of talking about Creek Squad and stuff like that is because I feel like, <clears throat> me personally, I feel like those are all good people. They are very good people. But it feels like to me, either you have to purchase something from Ryan Upchurch's uh, um, merchandise. You have to have something signed by Ryan Upchurch. You have to have a concert ticket from Ryan Upchurch, or you gotta have a video or or a picture with Ryan, or you gotta know Ryan on a daily base. So I'm always gonna be Creek Squad. I'm always will be Creek Squad. But and I always will be here for Creek Squad. And if I feel like someone's disrespecting Creek Squad, I will say my opinion. But other than that, I'm going to start doing reaction videos to Ryan Upchurch um, because I know I can now. Um, I'm allowed to. Um, and I want to do some other reaction videos too as well with some other independent artists because now I know I can just as long I pause the video and talk my way through it. So, like I said, what Creek Squad means to me is they are a family and the family came together because of Ryan Upchurch's music because we all have something in common. We all have something in common. If we didn't have nothing in common, we wouldn't found each other on YouTube. We wouldn't found each other through his music. So we all been through the similar shit. So with that being said, Joker 1014's out. You guys have a good day. I'm going to go work on this trailblazer. And uh, hopefully you guys will see some reaction videos here soon. And uh, we're going to kind of mix it up a little bit. We're going... Like I said, this channel is a catch-all, so um, we're going to mix it up a little bit. I'll talk to you all later.